Marden in Aachen, Germany writes to me, Paul, first, thank you for sharing all of your knowledge with us. You ain't got all of it. <laughs> There's even more up here than you think, or less. I don't know. It depends what you think. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, that's the best way to bring things forward and to make them better. Thank you, sir. Uh, I have a question about the right choice of sample rate for music recordings. I'm based in the live entertainment and broadcast world, so I grew up with their sample rates, which are 48 kilohertz based, 48, 96, 192. I did some music recordings for friends and used my common sample rates for this too. But at the end, it mostly comes down to a CD, which is based on not 48 kilohertz, but 44.1 kilohertz. Should I better use the 44 versions, which are 88 and 176, as a multiple of 44? Will there be a difference in quality if I downsample, for example, 96 to 44 or 88 to 44? I know exactly where you're coming from, and I have always subscribed to the idea that clear multiples are so much easier in the digital workstation that you are, or sample rate converter that you're doing. And I have always been taught that you want to stay within the same device. So 48 times 2, which is a simple division, is, is 96 and, and then 192, right? And same with 44, 88. So I've always been taught to stay within your genre. Stay in your lane. Is there any truth to that? Well, I think probably not. But to be honest, I don't know exactly. I really don't know. I, I've just always been, it's always been safer to stay in the same range and to keep. So when we do things, we don't do uh, 192, we do 176. Because everything we do, if we do PCM, is based on 44, 88, 176. Though at Octave Records, we do offer 192. Why? Well, people want 192. They think it's better than 176. And I would pretty much defy anybody to <laughs> hear the difference. But I do know folks that tell me our 176 sounds better than our 192. That is just, I don't want to call it hearsay because I trust our people but I have no official information whatsoever suggesting that there is any real difference, especially with today's modern 64-bit floating point, 32-bit floating point uh, devices where math that has these complex math number strings that have to happen uh, to convert an odd sample rate to another sample rate probably, probably isn't going to make any difference at all. That would be my guess. But just to be safe, and I like to be safe, I, I keep it to the same multiple. I know that's probably not a lot of help, but there you go. All right. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.